good, you good. You'll forever be misunderstood. You wanna shine? Then grind. It'll never be a waste of your time. But if you good, then you good. But you'll forever be misunderstood. If you wanna shine, what a grind. It'll never be a waste of your time. You know, sometimes I wonder if I'm the only one that actually realizes this, or maybe I'm the only one that sees this. Forget realizing, maybe I'm the only one that sees this or feels this way. But I feel that certain video games over the years, like let's say now, for example, they aren't really made to last. Like older video games, they were made so you can play them for well, years if you wanted to. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you can you can play them for a very long time. And this is outside of the, the multiplayer aspect. It's just the game itself. Let's use Call of Duty, for example. Their campaigns were great for a while. For a while they were great. But Call of Duty Ghost campaign wasn't all that great. The um it has like no replay value to it. Advanced Warfare's campaign had no replay value. Black Ops 3 was the campaign was just garbage altogether. I couldn't even I couldn't even complete it. Uh Infinite Warfare, I have no idea what the campaign is like. I didn't like the game. But you know, it's it's things like that altogether. Just just basing it off these games. Like they, there's there's no no meat in the games now. I mean, other games there probably is. There are things that keeps people playing, but a lot of games are now starting to, you know, the whole DLC microtransaction era. It's 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 kind of sad, you know, because you're so used to growing up having to unlock things, you know, button combinations, to, you know, to unlock things, but now we're all used to we have to spend money to get a complete game. You know, Destiny is another good example with the expansions. You know, they're not big expansions. They're small expansions. But let me actually, no, 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 no. Let's use Destiny as a, a better example. Destiny's first one. It was just Destiny of the game. And then you had, what was the house? No, not the House of Wolves. The, um, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, the House of Wolves. It had that DLC going on. Or was it the, the Dark Below? The Dark Below, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. The Dark Below. The Dark Below came out and gave you the Crota Raid. Understandable. It's an expansion that should have been a part of the game. Cool. You know, it, it fits the story. You had the House of Wolves that did something else. But again, it was something that you could just get through really quickly. You know what I'm saying? And then we had the Taken King. The Taken King. It was a major update and expansion. But at the same time, it was it's really quick. You know, I felt like the story should have been the story mission should have been longer. You know, it, it should have been worthy of the whole. We got an expansion. It was a big update full of nothing at the end of the day. You can get by it really quickly. And then you have the Rise of Iron, which felt even shorter. You, you know what I'm saying? Everything was RNG. And then it had the microtransactions, but it wasn't game breaking my microtransactions it wasn't like black ops 3 would put weapons in there that you can buy though that would be an interesting do it would be interesting i'm i'm surprised that destiny hasn't done it you know i was halfway expecting destiny to take that route but you know well maybe not that maybe a way that you could uh put money into game and buy a certain you know m gram packs that would have made sense you know at the same time though i can probably see why it would be weird or discourage talk down of you know so many things i understand it but you know the games just don't come with a lot of meat anymore it's it's all throw money throw more money into the game you can have more fun you know it's 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 kind of weird i don't understand why that's happening i mean i guess you want to make money but i feel don't you want the game to be great first and then do the extra stuff you know what I'm saying? I feel like you can make more money that way. Throw throw, throw your best stuff into the game and then say, okay, you was having fun with that. We have more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's just me because I like playing the games. I mean, maybe that's just me. I feel like you could just benefit more from that. You, you have a respectable company. 
more people actually trust your product more. But I mean, you know what? Whatever. Who am I, right? Who am I but somebody who actually buys the games and plays them? You know? You know what, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't make the games. I don't sell them. I don't know quote unquote business. Or whatever, man. I know people. <laughs> you know, I, I know people. We want good games that we can play. And then we want the extra stuff. You know, we want... I'm pretty sure we would not mind the extra pay stuff if we had a great, amazing product to begin with. You know, once we throw all that extra stuff in it, then it's like, wow, I mean, I paid all this money for this game, which felt like it wasn't even completed. And then you're going to give me like, I have to give you $30, $30, $40 just so I can, you know, complete the game. It's 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 like a slap in the face to the consumer. It's it's a horrible thing that companies are doing now. You know, I partly understand it, but at the same time, coming from the gamer's point of view, it's it does more harm than good. I'm pretty sure there are a few people out there that can agree with me on there. There's probably people out there that disagree with me, but, you know, I don't get bent out of shape. I just say they're the ones that own companies. Simple. But, you know, it's not really much I can do about it. I don't think there's really much people can do about it other than, you know, just not buying the DLCs and things like that. But, you know, we want to have fun, right? You know, we're willing to pay for something that we like. That's simply what it is at the end of the day. But what do you guys think about the direction video games have gone? Do you like it? Do you wish it would go back to how it used to be? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Leave that all in the comments below. Give me your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video. Blizz Ricks, I'm out. Peace.